Hi there! We have a couple of new observations for you with the new RC ship. These observations take place at the same spot that we've been using recently. We took the new boat out to approximately 600 feet for both of the following observations. And we viewed from one and a half inches above the water surface each day. This first observation took place on January 17th between 1.15 and 2 p.m. The air temperature from a few feet above the surface was reading 62 degrees Fahrenheit, and the water temperature was reading 50 degrees Fahrenheit. This day was calm with very little movement of the water. For reference, here is the approximate scale of the boat in inches. Here we begin to sail the boat out. Here is the ship at around 300 feet or so. This is approximately where the RC boats often begin to disappear from the bottom up when observing from this viewing height. But on this day, the boat can be seen in full and the water line is visible well beyond the boat. By approximately 600 feet, the boat is a bit distorted, but can be seen in full, with the waterline still visible beyond the ship. This next observation took place on January 20th, also between 1.15 and 2 p.m. The water was reading 48 degrees Fahrenheit, as was the air temperature at a few feet above the water surface, 48 degrees Fahrenheit. It was very calm this day, with almost no wind or movement of the water. Here we begin to sail the boat out. On this day, the mirroring began only a hundred feet or so from the camera.
Here, the boat is approximately 300 feet from the observer. With our viewer height, this is typically where we begin to lose information from the bottom of the boat. And here we've sped up the footage. By 600 feet, the hole is no longer visible. We have to raise the viewing height to receive the light from the bottom of the ship in full. Raising up, and lowering. Raising up again, and lowering. Now we sail the boat back towards the observer. So, on the first day of these observations, when there was temperature fluctuation between the air and the water, and the air was around 7 to 12 degrees warmer than the water, the light from the entire ship was able to reach the observer throughout the duration of the observation. And on the second day, with very little to no temperature difference between the water and the air, we witness an inferior mirage that doesn't allow the light from the bottom of the ship to reach the observer as the ship sails into the distance. That's all for now. We have more to come soon. Thanks for watching.